Hi, I'm Brian. In this video, we will be covering loans and interest. Think of a loan as a sort of contract, whereby you have to commit to a certain criteria or requirements, and in return, you get financial supplements, which at the end of the day, you have to give back to the lender. Just like how you borrow money from your friends, loans function in the same way, just more formally and officially. But it wouldn't make sense to continuously lend money to people because you do not only not profit, but also run the risk of losing the sum of money when the borrower fails to pay up. And that's where interest comes in. Interest is defined as a sum paid or charged for the use of money or for borrowing money. So how is this interest calculated? Interest is applied periodically, usually annually. Where the amount of money borrowed is the principal sum, interest usually exists as a certain percentage of this sum. There are two ways of calculating interest depending on the criteria of the loan. Firstly, simple interest, which is basically the extra amount of money you have to return based off the principal amount alone. So no matter the period of the loan, you will simply add, for instance, 3% of the original amount to your debt every year. Next up is compound interest, which works a little differently. In compound interest, the percentage increase is applied to the cumulative amount of debt. So if you have an annual increase interest rate rather of 3% on the first year, raising your debt to 103%, your debt in the following year will be 106.09%. Now let's take a look at a loan in the classic The Merchant of Venice. Good senor. Your worship was the last man in our mouths. Is he yet possessed how much you would? Aye, aye. 3,000 ducats. And for three months. Ah, I forgot. Three months, you told me so. But thought, um, my thoughts you said you neither lend nor borrow with interest. I do never use it. Well, 3,000 ducats, just a good round sum. Lancelot, the rates. Three months from twelve. Well, let me see the rate. Well, Charlotte, shall we be beholden to you? Signor Antonio, many a time and oft in the Rialto, you have reviled me about my monies and my nuisances. Still, I have borne it with a patient shrug, for sufferance is the badge of all our tribe. You call me misbeliever, cutthroat dog, and spit upon my Jewish cavity, and all for use of that which is mine own. Well, it now appears you need my help. You come to me and you say, Shylock, we would have money. You say so, you, that did void your room upon my beard, and kick me as you spurn a stranger cur over your threshold. Money is your suit. What should I say to you? Should I not say, hath a dog money? Is it possible a cur can lend 3,000 ducats? Or shall I bend low and in a slavish voice with bated breath and whispering humbleness say this, fair sir, you spat on me on Wednesday last you spurned me such a day, another time you called me dog. And for these courtesies, I'll lend you thus much money. I must like to call you so again. To spit on you again, to spurn you too. If you would lend this money, lend it not unto your friends. For when did friendship take a breed for barren metal from his friend? Hmm? But lend it rather to your enemy, who if he break, you may with better face exact the penalty. Why, look how you storm. I would be friends with you and have your love. Forget the stains that you have shamed me with. 
supply your present wants, and take not a drop of interest for my money. And you'll not hear me. <laughs> this is kind, I offer. <laughs> this is kindness. No. This kindness, I will show. Go with me to a notary. And seal me there your single bond. And in a merry sport, if you repay me not on such a day, in such a place, such a sum or sums as are expressed in the condition, let the forfeit be nominated for an equal pound of your fair flesh. Antonio intends to borrow 3,000 ducats for his friend Bassanio from the money lender Shylock. Because Shylock bears a grudge towards Antonio, he takes this as a chance to harm Antonio. Rather than an interest rate, Shylock decides to do without it but instead demands a pound of Antonio's flesh in the event that Antonio does not pay the loan. The principal amount here is thus 3,000 ducats, and because there is no interest rate, Antonio's debt remains at 3,000 ducats. Thank you for watching. Hope you found this video interesting.